Is this the actual Apple App Store? Do you realize that this is basically the beginning of something huge? The foundation for fantastic apps like Raid Shadow Legends. Download for free. Just a joke, this video is not sponsored. Today, we'll travel in time all the way back to the year of 2008 and talk about iPhone OS 2. First of all, I really have to point out that the official iPhone OS 2 logo looks goofy as hell, but that's only a side note. Let's start with how to get this new futuristic version of iPhone OS onto your device. First option, you buy the new plastic brick called iPhone 3G or the iPod Touch second generation. If you would have done that, you'd have access to the new iPhone OS 2 but you did a really bad investment in terms of longevity. Second option, you update your iPod Touch first generation or iPhone 2G to the new version. Well, if you had an iPod Touch first generation, you had to pay $9.95 to do that after paying the initial price of like two kidneys for the device itself and before paying the initial price for a ton of apps you couldn't even fit into your 8GB iPod Touch, but at least you got the opportunity to do so. But what's new? This is probably why you're here in the first place. If you've watched my previous video about iPhone OS 1, you might have got the impression that you couldn't really do that much with your iPhone besides call people, do calculations, take a look at the weather or scroll through your music library. And I teasered it already, this changed tremendously with the App Store. But why did Apple come up with this? You might have seen this logo before. This is Cydia, a third-party app store that was developed just a few months after iPhone OS 1 was released. This store could be installed on your iPhone via a jailbreak and gave you the opportunity to change the UI and to download additional apps and tweaks. And this is a problem because if you can download random stuff from the internet and install it on your phone, this might possibly be a security problem. I don't know, maybe it could be. <laughs> and what would stop people from downloading suspicious tweaks and apps from a shady store? Correct, offering apps on an official app store. Exactly 500 of those at the time of the release. And well, honestly and sadly, there isn't that much more about iPhone OS 2. Of course, Apple fixed some bugs and added a tiny little feature here and there, added some languages, they updated maps for example, and now you were actually allowed to do your calculations in landscape mode. How cool is that? Also, it's always very funny that you can find a fixed a passcode bypass in many of those old patch note entries. But even though this has been a very short video, I strongly encourage you to check out the playlist of the history of iOS and of course subscribe to this channel to not miss the next videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.